All right, hello everyone, and thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com. Time for a few more minutes with our Xfinity Monday Live guest tonight, Menelik Watson. Uh, talk to me about your soccer skills. We just showed that at the end of the show. You're a big soccer guy. Yep. You played soccer, you played basketball, had a basketball scholarship to college. How much do you think that all of those sports together kind of made you the athlete you are now and help you succeed on the NFL? Well, you know, I think more so it helped me mentally. I think going through those things, you know, I had a dream of being a premiership football player until my ankle almost got decapitated, you know, taken off. And then, you know, then just finding basketball after I've been told I couldn't play anymore and then having big dreams on that and reaching for those goals um, and coming up short, you know. And then, and then I think being an NFL player, I just don't take it for granted. I think every single moment, I think um, financially the opportunity I'm in to set, to set my family up, I think just the opportunity to run out there in stadiums full of, packed full of people, um, and just being able to compete, you know, going out there and be able to compete with the world's best, you know, and, and, and dominating. It's just, you know, it's it's a dream come true. So, you know, from I think I've grew more mentally from a more, you know, physically they've given me what I have and the feet and the hands and stuff like that. But I think more so mentally. Um, is where I've made the most strides. Now, you mentioned the ankle injury that you had, and you've had some injuries throughout your career, but yeah. that's part of the reason why you're here in Denver. Yeah, yeah. I'm here to, you know, fresh start. You know, uh, going into the Raiders, you know, uh, um, like I said, you know, two, uh, two semesters of football, mind you, barely two years, and going in there, you know, with just a body feeling fresh and being slowed down by a bunch of soft tissue injuries it was it was bewildering to me because even playing basketball at 300 pounds i could still run and jump never had a tear or anything so it was something new and i had to learn fast how to be a pro and take care of your body um differently um going above and beyond to make sure that you're healthy and um coming here to denver is just the best place they got a great staff with luke richardson and the guys there you know great uh, nutrition program and everything so being able to take my game to a whole nother level is what I'm excited about and which really uh, attracted me here to come here and just, you know, be the best mentally Watson I can be. Now, I got to ask you this because one thing Vance Joseph said about you and Ronald Leary and Garrett Bowles is that you guys are mean mm -hmm. and you have that mean streak. I just spent the last 30 minutes with you. I feel like there's not a mean bone <laughs> in your body. So where does where does that That's come from? That's the placebo effect. Is that what it is? Yeah. You know, being big, you know, uh, you know, growing up, um, I never was a guy who threw my size around. Then I didn't really, you know, I was, uh, I just didn't feel like it was the right thing to do. But um, I was mean. I was, I was an angry kid. Okay. A real angry kid, and I had to learn fast. Um, the reason why I joined football was because I knew it was physical. And I, my first thought was that it was fighting. I thought, you know, do you get to fight a lot? I said, I grew up fighting, so, you know, I'd be perfect for football. So my first junior college experience, I came into a game late. And, um, you know, me and this guy got into it, you know, and I'm chasing him up the field. I'm not even worried about the next player to call. I'm chasing around the field trying to fight. My coach yanked me off the field and said, you know, if you ever do that again, I'll never play for him again. Coach Mack, I saddled back. And um, from there, you know, I just learned to temper it within the game and, 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 and just show little bits of your aggression once, it, once the whistle starts. And So how long does it take you to go from nice guy to mean guy? Real fast. Real fast. Real fast. So, like, if you wanted to, you could, like, pick me up and throw me out the window, yeah, like, no fast. problem? Real fast. If I wanted to, I could flip all the tables and have everyone running out here scared. <laughs> well, well, we appreciate that you're not going to do that. Yeah. I hope. I don't know. I feel yeah. like it's coming on right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, I got a season to play, so I'm not <laughs> trying to go to jail or anything like that. I'm trying to play next season, so <laughs> keep my freedom. Hey, I'm my visa as well. Okay, yes. That's very important. <laughs> hey, man, thanks so much for yeah. the visit tonight. We really appreciate yes, it. Yes, sir. Look forward to having you back on, and thank you for logging on to CBSDenver.com.